You know, in any given town in this great country of ours, you can see something like this. Some cool old hot rod. The only problem is, you get a bunch of them together, and you get a lot of this. Hold on, back tire. I drove all the way here after all that stuff you said, and you want the back tire. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. We take the lip service and the hot rods, we pull them off the street, we put them on the track. My friends, welcome to the fastest 30 minutes on television. This is Grudge Race. In this episode, Dean Valise brings his wicked zombie wagon that no one on the East Coast wants to race all the way from Florida to Colorado to beat Jim Hull's unbeaten Mustang, the Pope. In Denver's thin air, it's a best two out of three grudge race to settle this long-standing social media smack-talking war for their most valuable asset personal pride, and the winner's humiliating demands. My name's Dean Valise. I drive a 79 Malibu wagon. We call it the zombie wagon. We're from um, primarily, I guess everyone would know, Gainesville, Florida, uh, actually o Ocala. I think I'd like to put Florida on the map. I mean, I think we'd like to come here and represent and uh, show us that, that we do some grudge racing down south. Uh, 1,700 miles plus, I think we traveled. We had blowouts, we had truck problems. It doesn't matter, we'll come here, we'll take them on. Uh, I think we can stand a good shot of uh, beating them. Zombie wagon, well, you wanna know stats and figures and ETs and mile an hour? Yeah, I can't give you any of that stuff. What kind of name is the Pope, you know, for, for a car, but whatever. Um, I, I'm looking forward to the challenge. I'm confident we can put them on the trailer. Um, we're gonna we're gonna give it our best shot. I didn't come here to lose. We're gonna take out the Pope. My name is Jim Hull. Uh, like the front of a boat, most people spell it wrong. Spell it with an A. It's with a U. Um, I'm from Colorado Springs, Colorado. The Pope is an 03 Mustang. It has a small block Chevy or an LS based Chevy motor. It's twin turbo. It's a street car, full interior, stereo, all the lights work, even the power windows, everything. Back before there was a lot of heads up racing, there was, uh, we'd go to the track and there's bracket racing. And we're in the time only lane and then someone's gotta come over and you know, start, oh man, you know, hey, I'd, I'd like to line up with you. Or, oh man, I don't think your car is this or I don't think it's that. Or, you know, some of the smack talk would start coming in. I, I'm a terrible bracket racer. I tried it for, oh my gosh, I think we bracket race for 10 years and I don't, I think I won once in 10 years. I have one trophy. And it's like, wow, this really stinks. We're the Pope, we're, we're the higher power. We're the higher power in this one. These guys aren't going to come up here and just, you know, put us on the trailer, send us home, you know, put a hurting on us. That's not going to happen. This is, this is our neighborhood. Zombie wagon, I, I got this dude. I, we're going to send him back to Florida, hurting. He's going to regret coming to Colorado. All right. Here we are, and a real grudge we got brewing. Dean traveled over what, 15, 1600 miles to come here? Over 1700. Over 1700 in a wagon. Enzo Ferrari once said, uh, I believe aerodynamics are for people that can't build motors. You're driving a 79 Malibu station wagon. Have you seen it? I mean, it's nasty, bro. It's McNasty, there is no doubt. What do you think about the air here? Yeah, air is rough. Right? Rough. We're going to have to wrap tune around it. Mr. Jim Hull, tell me about your car. A Mustang, a Dart Base LS, a couple yeah. twin turbos. Yeah. So we have turbo boosted versus nitrous. Nitrous. All right? You built your car in a small car and a half, two car garage. Yes, sir. It's a struggle. I mean, we don't have fancy tools. I mean, I got to make late night phone calls. Hey, can someone TIG weld this for that? You know, what should take someone, you know, six months takes us two years. We have boost, we have nitrous. Yeah. Wow, I asked you guys to pick a few things that you wanted to put up there, right? What do you got, Dean? What are you offering? Well, you know, we traveled a long way. Yes, you did. I think I want you to take me to Shanahan's, me and my crew to Shanahan's for a steak dinner when we whoop you. When you do what? When we whoop them. <laughs> back on that one. Nice fancy steak dinner. Happen to know where that joint is. That might cost you a dime or 10. Uh, now, yeah, that being said, that's one. What's okay. the other thing? I think I want, I got drugged by the zombie wagon on the side of your pretty car. Mm-hmm. I can do that. OK. Now, Jim Ho, you were asked to throw up a couple things as well that you would like. What are you willing to negotiate? 
Oh, I'm all over the Pope drug the zombie wagon. Right down the side right of the wagon. The side. Right he, over he's the... got a billboard. He's got a zombie. <laughs> That's a billboard, dude. Okay. Oh. We can do that. We can do that. Okay. But how about loser gets the other vehicle tattooed on their person? Dude, I'm down for that. Now, You're size. Right. We, we've, I've heard about this. Post-it note size. Post-it note size. Post-it note okay, size. Exposure. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's, that's, that's no, I'm clean. Either do I. I'm clean. All right. You're clean. Yeah. So you're willing to do that? Yeah, first time. It doesn't have to show. All right. Yeah, we can do something like that. All right. OK. All right. That's the only time. Yeah. That's permanent. It is. That's the only time you guys are going to shake hands. Now it's time to determine lane choice. Let's go over to Reaction Time Challenge. Let's see who wins the lane choice. Let's get in these cars, light them up, and see who gets either painted up or inked up, all right? All right, here we go, man. Reaction Time Challenge, man. Lane choice is crucial, OK? Really simple. You light the bulb. As soon as you see this 410 tree go off, boom, OK? We've all done this before in a car. Now we're doing it for lane choice. Let's light them up. And ah, my man, Jim Hall. Congratulations for winning lane choice. Nicely done. Now, Dean, I know you're a monster on that tree. Let's hope you are. Uh, this tree. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope you speed that up. Which lane are you taking? I'm going to take the right. Take the right lane? All right. You got the left lane? Guys, get in the cars. Let's settle this grudge, all right? Let's do this. <laughs> Crazy, ain't it? You got some crackhead little policy from the spring, gets a chance to be on TV. <laughs> It's a heads up race. They're gonna line them up, light the tree, it goes green. First one to the stripe wins. Here we go. First round and grudge race. Mm. The Takes the first round. Turn it up boost. Yep, yep. All of it. Turn it up more and go from there. We got a street car. It's a daily driver. He drives it to and from work. What else can you ask for? I guess we just gotta walk it out and just pour the coals to it now. I mean, <laughs> that dude's fast, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, yeah, I'm really shocked. I was surprised he did that on a radial tire. I'm surprised he got it done up here. Going into negotiating, what are you gonna do to the car? What are you gonna ask from him? I want a back tire. You want a back tire? I want a back tire. I'm gonna ask for a back tire and I'm gonna wake it to the moon. Shit, if I lose, I lose. I mean, right. hell, I'm not, I, I didn't come here to lose, but right. I'll tell you right now, if I can't beat him the way it is, let's throw the kitchen sink at it. That trap was there. It felt fast, but God, that dude's fast. All right. Man, I got to tell you, the wagon surprised me, my man. The wagon surprised me. It surprised a lot of people, I believe. All right, now we talked to Jim. Jim, would you say that was driver, car, or competition? The car's fast. I'll give him that. Yeah. The car lives up to its name. It does, it does, man. Man, you're a, you're a zombie driving a meat-covered skeleton in a station wagon, man. Right. You got nothing to be afraid of. What are you asking? Oh, back tire. I drove all the way here, 
after all that stuff you said, and you want the back tire. Oh, hell yeah. You, you know what? You Come on, man. I'm giving up. I'm giving up 450 pounds. Right now, I got a street car. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you guys, I keep hearing on the internet, you guys got a street car. Will it be tough about your drive? You guys are towing it to the lanes. You're towing it back. I mean, I tell you, I'll give you a heads up run. Let's cruise up to Golden and back. Let's go heads up. What are you gonna go say here? I want back tire. Paul! He put he put two and a half. I want back tire. Can you tune me up for the back tire? Sure. Let's do it. We'll do it. We'll do the okay. back tire. You want to give him the back tire? I give him the back now, tire. That's a, that's a pretty nice give on that. Yep. Second round, here's what's going to happen, OK? You bring your cars up, you're going to stage on the back tire. That gives you the length of that Mustang, basically, ahead of that station wagon. You're OK with this? Because it could be one race here. He might have been sandbagging on me, and yeah, yeah, yeah. All but, right. Uh, but I got faith. Paul's going to hook me up. OK. Me up. Know what you accepted, know what you asked for, and know the give. Get back in your car, time for the second round, and hopefully, not the end of this grudge, all right? Let's do it. All right, here's what's happening. That first run, big surprise to the Pope camp. They're over there on that laptop trying to find a couple of horsepower. They're going to need it, too. The zombie made a mean lick. The air up here is a lot thinner. Doesn't go through the radiator like it does in Florida. They're cooling it down a little bit, put a little more fuel in it, and they're ready to go. Nitrous, big impression. Boosted, needs to find some horsepower. Let's hit this next round. I, I, he gave me back tire. I asked for it and he gave it to me. Might be able to beat him. Yep. Never a dance for links. This guy beats me. I'm going to back tire for life on my back. And they do a Leroy. Yes. Both. Making sure I'm square and making sure I got back tire. I want to make sure everything, everything's got to be straight on. Everything's got to be perfect on this run. Let's get Zombie Wagon and Jim Hole in the burnout box, lit off, and the second round of Grudge Race. about even Steven. Man, Good job, Jim. far better run that one. It left a lot harder. Tell me about that hit. You know, I've never asked for a back tire before in my life. I'm not going to do it again. You can't see the Christmas tree. <laughs> I ain't going to lie there. I'm all like, oh my god, I can't see. Crap! Do you think you have him covered on this next run? I know he's not going to give me nothing. He's going to ask for something. Um, I'll go back heads up. I'll get everything I got. I mean, that's okay. all we can do, bro. Dean! Ooh. Dean! <laughs> all right, man. Bet you didn't know zombies were temperamental. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah. All right, you got some splaining to do. Yeah, yeah. What happened? I think it was a mechanical, mechanical issue. OK. And, uh, and we'll have to sort it out. All right. Man, I got to tell you, that was a good round, man. The Pope has, uh, has witnessed, all right? His, uh, the zombie oh, has been stricken down. You want to you wanna go over that round, man? What happened? Sometimes you tame the beast. Sometimes the beast tames you. <laughs> All right, man. Now, Jim Hole, what did you guys do in that second round that made that car that much more aggressive? I told Dave, guy helped me on the tune-up, I said, throw the kitchen sink at it, because if we lose this one, we're out. And obviously, you saw that round a little too much. Um, <laughs> had to pedal it, so yeah. now we're trying to fix it. What do you guys want in this final round? 
Let's say heads up. Heads up? Or you want to go heads up? Come on, man. Buddy. Your car did not even leave, and then all of a sudden it went out. There's no way you had a, a full race in that time. Sandbag on the second round. Yeah, exactly, because you already had first round. Because you already had that's first round. That's what we're doing. Let's go. Come on, guys. Yeah, let's go. Give it a second. Yeah. 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 We know We know what you guys are all about, and I, I know how fast Do you feel like he sandbagged that round? Yeah. yeah. Do. I mean, no, yeah, I mean. It was straight up. I had, I had an issue. I had an issue. Is the issue fixed? Is the issue resolved? Find out, won't we? I mean, you hit me by two, two and a half on the first race. So still giving me back tire for the third race, really, you're not giving up. You're only, you still got a car and a half on it. I give you back tire, I want the right one. I don't know if I can see the tree. Come on, man. Mm. Can we flip a coin for the full round? No, 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 no. I'll you take want? that. I'll take that. Right. You give me back tire and you can have right leg. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Put it down. So what just happened? Okay. You've agreed. To still give him the back tire, even after he drug your zombie ass on that run, OK? But you wanted his lane, OK? Are we set? We know that this is either for a steak dinner, spray painted down the side of your car, you got your ass drugged, all right? Or a tattoo on your person, OK? You guys good with that? Yeah, let's all do right? it. All right? Let's let these dogs eat, man. We're going to find out right here who's the fastest. Our man from Florida, the Pope, all right, let's get this handled. Get in your cars, let's race, let's hit this grudge. What's up, buddy? Thanks, man. I'm gonna need it. Any more bets? Any more bets? Any more bets? Even though he drug him by a couple bus links, he still asked for the rear tire. He believes the zombie wagon is sandbagging. Table's closed. Table's closed. We're going to find out in this last and final round of Grudge Race. Let's light these cars up. They switch lanes. We're going to find out right now on Grudge Race. Exercise the zombie from Colorado. Yeah. All right, let's talk about that a little bit, man. You said back there that it was in driver error. Yeah, I'll own it. But uh, yeah, I just didn't arm my system. Didn't arm your nitrous system. So you left purely on motor. Yeah. You yeah. had to know right then that it was done. Yeah. yeah Especially. I was, I was pulling switches and levers and trying to <laughs> figure it out <laughs> in route. Yeah. But uh, you know, I'm not going to tell you anything you don't know, but surprisingly, Nitrous works a lot better when you, when turn, you turn it on. on. Yes. <laughs> so, all right, now look, how did that feel for you and your crew, man? Man, it felt great. Yeah. Um, like I said, this is this car's got minimal runs. I mean, the car's only been running three weeks. Yeah. And to come out here and beat someone like him, oh yeah, hell yeah, we're happy. We've accrued a very nice prize pack for you, the winner, Jim Hull and the Pope. Now, you could take that prize pack, shake his hand, squash the grudge, and be done. Or you could also have the prize pack Go over to the Reaction Time Challenge, and you guys decide there which of those items you offered up that you want to take. 
So I ask you, Jim Hall, you want to squash the grudge or you want to take his stuff? Let's go to the light. Want to go to the yeah. light? Yep, let's, let's go, go to the, the light. light. Let's finish there it. There you go. Let's finish this thing. Finish Reaction it. time challenge. Could be a tattoo, could be paint on the car. <laughs> We're going to find out right now. Now, this is Reaction Time Challenge. Jim, allow me to show you your prize pack. Today, you're taking home all kinds of race quip safety equipment, which includes helmet, neck brace, full gear, apparel, everything you need head to toe. You're also taking home an ESOP Rebel Welder. It's a multi-function machine, MIG, TIG, and stick, my man. You also get some great gear from Heat Shield Products. It's a family-owned company. Thermal management is their game, and they are great at it. That's what you won. This is the icing on the cake. Pick up the sticks, here we go. It's the reaction time challenge. You know this drill. Now understand, you won the race. Dean, if you win this, you get to choose whether it's a tattoo or whether or not it's a paint down the side of your car. All right, if you win this, it's really simple. It's your game, it's your world. All determined right here. You guys know how this game works? Let's light the bulbs. Oh! Dean, no mechanical error there, my friend. No. No mechanical error there. All right, so Dean, the moment of truth, I gotta ask you, would you rather have a tattoo on your body that says the Pope, or would you rather have I got grudged down the side of the wagon? Let's do the paint. I'm not getting a tattoo. All right, so there you go. I don't blame you. So here's what's about to happen. The zombie wagon is getting baptized in Colorado. Yes, yes it is. All right. Ready? I can't live. <laughs> All right. See you. Let's do it. Oh, and it's running too. <laughs> Oh, dude. Leave race for Leave me. Race. Right. Go ahead, yeah. Man. <laughs> yes. This is brutal. Oh. All right. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh.